The following files have been classified. Top secret. By order of the administrator. General Notice 001 Alpha in order to prevent knowledge of SCP-001 from being leaked, several no-false SCP-001 files have been created alongside the true file files. All files concerning the nature of SCP-001, including the decoy, decoys, are protected by a memetic kill agent designed to immediately cause cardiac arrest in any authorized personnel attempting to access the file. Revealing the true nature natures of SCP-001 to the general public is cause for execution, except as required under <coughs> Warning Any non-authorized personnel accessing this file will be immediately terminated through Barry Melangford Memetic Kill Agent Scrolling down without proper memetic inoculation will result in immediate cardiac arrest followed by death. You have been warned. Memetic kill agent activated. Continued life signs confirmed. Removing safety interlocks. Welcome, authorized personnel. Please select your desired file. Dr. Clef's proposal. The Gate Guardian. Item, hash SCP-001. Object class Euclid Cater. Special containment procedures because of the nature of SCP-001, no containment procedures are necessary. 24. 7 monitoring of SCP-001 is to take place from a safe 10 km plus distance from a predetermined location Site 0. The location of Site 0 is known only to the current SCP administrator and the single overseer level agent of Abrahamic Faith 05 to 14 assigned to monitor SCP 001 from Site 0. Said agent is authorized to take any action necessary should SCP 001 become active, and is required to immediately alert the administrator and all other overseer level agents should SCP 001 show any change in behavior as this may constitute the beginning of a Patmos XK class end of the world. Scenario Should SCP-001 become active in any way, personnel are required to immediately consult the Patmos series of emergency orders. Decoding algorithms for emergency order Patmos are to be maintained on site at Site 0 in the possession of the designated observer, and are to be transmitted to SCP Foundation offices only in the event of SCP-001 becoming active. Foundation personnel with vital roles in one or more variants of emergency procedure Patmos are to be advised to take the following precautions. To maintain good relations with one or more organized Abrahamic faiths. To maintain, on hand, a supply of the following holy water, a rosary, crucifix, cross, prayer rug, or other symbol blessed by an Abrahamic cleric of bishop or equivalent higher rank, a copy of Abrahamic scriptures Torah, Bible, Quran, and standard emergency supplies in mobile form bug out bag. In case of a premillial rapture scenario, all vital personnel are to designate a secondary operative of non-Abrahamic faith. Said secondary operative is to be informed of the location of the primary designate's copy of emergency procedure Patmos and memetic kill agent Iokilat, and is to be kept on ready status to take over the primary's duties as necessary. To maintain familiarity with all other SCPs involved in possible Patmos XK class end of the world scenarios. 
Description SCP-001 is a humanoid entity, approximately 700-700 cubits in height, located in an undisclosed location near the intersection of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The following features are known about the entity. A number of luminous, wing-like appendages emerging from the shoulders, back, temples, ankles, and wrists of the entity. Although an accurate count has never been established, most observers place the number of wings at anywhere from 22 through 108 108, with the mean number being 44. A weapon, possibly a sword or knife SCP-0122. The weapon appears to emit flames at a temperature rivaling that of the sun, based on spectrographic analysis, although there appear to be no destructive effects from the intense heat on the surrounding area. Any entity that approaches within one kilometer of SCP-001 is immediately struck by the weapon and obliterated from existence. Any and all hostile actions taken towards SCP-001 have resulted in the annihilation of the attacker, regardless of Range C Incident Report Re Indian Ocean Submarine Missile Experiment, December 26, 2004. SCP-001 appears to be standing with its head bowed in a gesture of supplication with SCP-0122 held in both hands point down in front of it. Since originally recorded by the founder over, data redacted, years ago, SCP-001 has not deviated from this stance. Human beings exposed to SCP-001 report hearing a voice in their heads giving them a directive which the subject reports cannot be disobeyed. The most common directive is forget, which results in the subject walking away from SCP-001 with no memory of having encountered it. On rare occasions, however, other directives have been given the most famous of these is the one given to the founder prepare, which he has claimed formed the impetus for founding, data redacted, to catalogue and contain any and all supernatural and or paranormal artifacts that represent a serious threat to the current existence of humanity. This is the organization now known as the SCP Foundation. Observers have reported that SCP-001 appears to be standing in front of a gate of immense proportions. Long-range photographs have occasionally detected what appears to be a pastoral growth within, containing numerous other entities of the same composition as SCP-001, as well as several fruit trees of unknown composition. Of particular note are two fruit trees of immense proportion near what appears to be the center of the growth one, it is noted, appears to be an ordinary apple tree, although the other bears a fruit unknown on Earth, described as, data expunged. It is the avowed belief of the founder that the gate which SCP-001 guards may be the gate to, expunged, based on correlations with ancient Babylonian texts and the Dead Sea Scrolls. In which case, one can deduce that the entity known as SCP-0 may the first be, expunged. Addendum 001 Experimentation Re SCP-012S Effective Kill Range one experiment a one class D personnel instructed to approach SCP-001 as closely as possible on foot. Result upon making visual contact with SCP-001, subject is ordered to leave. Subject immediately turns away from entity and walks away. Despite repeated orders to continue the experiment, class D personnel refuses to obey and is terminated. Upon termination of Class D personnel, all research staff involved are immediately obliterated by an unknown force, presumably SCP-0122. Two Experiment B1 Remote Operated Research Robot Guided to Approach SCP-001 from the Ground Result upon approaching within one kilometer of SCP-001, research robot is obliterated presumably by SCP-0122, all further attempts at remote reconnaissance have the same result. 
3 Experiment C-100 pre-programmed research drones instructed to approach SCP-001 from multiple angles simultaneously. Result coordination is successful, and all 100 drones cross the 1 km mark simultaneously, however, all 100 are simultaneously obliterated by SCP-0122. Designated observer at Site-0 reports that SCP-0122 appeared to strike in all directions at once. SCP-001 did not deviate from its stance while this took place. 4 Experiment D wire guided missile fired from a distance of 3 km. Result SCP-0122 obliterates weapon upon crossing the 1 km mark, simultaneously obliterating the launch site and killing all personnel. 5 Experiment E multi warhead intercontinental ballistic missile fired from SCP nuclear submarine Nautilus. Result C Indian Ocean Submarine Missile Experiment, December the 26th, 2004. 6 Experiment FSCP 076 and Task Force Omega 7 instructed to approach SCP 001 on foot. Result SCP-076 refuses to carry out mission, despite not being informed of the mission's nature. Upon being asked why, SCP-076 replies, no. Just number. 7 Experiment GSCP-073 Due to the results of Experiment F, SCP-073 was not informed of his destination until arriving at Site-0. Result SCP-073 approached the site on foot. Upon seeing SCP-001, SCP-073 became distressed and asked to abort. SCP-073 was ordered to continue. At that point, the symbol on SCP-073's forehead became, data expunged. Experiment was terminated due to, data expunged. See Addendum 001A. 001A by executive order of the administrator, no further experiments are to be carried out re SCP-001. No further SCPs are to be exposed to SCP-001. SCP-001 is not to be used to dispose of dangerous SCPs. Please see revised containment procedures for details. Addendum on. The following errant transmission was received by Foundation personnel. Initiate emergency procedure Patmos Omega. Attention all Foundation personnel. The following message was received at approximately this morning from Site Zero. SCP-001 has left its location. The gate is open. They are riding forth. OG underscore D, it's so beautiful. Thelad Rajeth Thelad Hayser Ijet Thelad Shala Ag for River Thelad Re. Geth Thelad Hayser Ijet Thelad Shala Ag for River Thelad Rajeth Thel. Ordacer Ijet Thelad Shala Ag for River Thelad Eeskode Thelad Eeskode. Thelad Eeskode Thelad Eeskode Thelad Eeskode Thelad Eeskode Thelad. He's go thela dies go de chia o i s i e l t h e l o r d o u r g o d t h e l o r d i s o n e. Because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP 995, the opening of SCP 616, and the activation of SCP 098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK class end of the world scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All personnel are to unlock and decode emergency order Patmos Omega, and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured, and all non-essential SCPs and personnel terminated and... ...or destroyed. Repeat. Because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995, 
the opening of SCP-616 and the activation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All personnel are to unlock and decode emergency order Patmos Omega, and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured, and all non-essential SCPs and personnel terminated and or destroyed. Repeat, because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995, the opening of SCP-616, and the activatio of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begi propritios FFR and XK-class end of fueled serio. SCP-076 and SCP-073 at re to be secured immediately Kane and Abel my two sons, I am comic all personnel are to unlock and decode behold, I stand at the gate and knock and if I you asked fi follow. Al alak of 3242, dollar dollar at adisawuhi avide uathat fefruto fofof. And at, hash dollar at, hash at, hash dollar at, hash dollar. Signal lost. Upon contacting Site 0, 05 to 14 responded that no such message had been sent from his location and that SCP-001 remained inert. The transmission was initially determined to be a hoax. However, close examination of the transmission reveals a timestamp dated, data redacted, years in the future. It is theorized that, data expunged, 